G. Miami, Fort Lauderdale. From Channel 10, this is Eyewitness News, South Florida's number one late news, with Ann Bishop, Mike Schneider, meteorologist Don No, Chuck Dowdle, and the Channel 10 Eyewitness News team. Well, tonight the Dolphins taking a big step towards the Super Bowl, and the Cowboys are going to have to wait till next year. Chuck Dowdle's been at the Orange Bowl, taking in all the action. He joins us live. Is your heart still going boom, 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 Chuck? <laughs> Mine and all the other 75,000 people that are filing out of this Orange Bowl. An incredible game. Just think it was only 14 to 7 with about 450 left. Final score 28 to 21, but the good guys came out on top. The Miami Dolphins have won it. They have secured the home field advantage now as long as they can stay alive in the playoffs right up until the Super Bowl for the Dallas Cowboys, of course, for the first time in 10 years. The NFL playoffs will continue without the Dallas Cowboys, Tom Landry, and crew. However, still a, a very gutty performance by this team tonight. We're still totaling up the record set by the Dolphin offense. There have been any number of them, but perhaps the key one tonight, one that came in the first quarter, it was Dan Marino throwing to Nat Moore, this completion giving Dan Marino the all-time single-season yardage record for passing, eclipsing Dan Fouts' record. Uh, Marino, of course, uh, has been setting records all along this season. You knew sooner or later that one was going to come to him, and sure enough, it did tonight, along with several others that we'll also be mentioning later. Now, standing by just outside the Miami Dolphin locker room is our Larry Sugarman. Larry? Chuck, I was uh, down by the uh, Dolphins bench when uh, Dallas tied it up, and I've never seen a more bunch of dejected uh, Dolphin players in my life, but then Mark Clayton, Dan Marino came through as the Dolphins put those final seven points on the board, and suddenly dejection just turned into elation. It was absolutely amazing. I will try to grab one of those Dolphin players out of the locker room and have them for you in just a few minutes. Thanks very much, Larry. We appreciate it. Joining me now, Susan Candiotti. And Susan, I know there was a lot of emotion on the field uh, tonight, but there was a lot of emotion with the fans, too, also. Oh, that's for sure. And especially, like you said, in the last five minutes of the game. And you know there were a lot of first-timers at the game tonight. First-timers in the sense of the way they got here tonight. It's a way that's never been tried before. The doors are opening on a new breed of rail riders. Dolphins hopping on Metro Rail to get to the Orange Bowl. And from the Metro Rail platform, it's just an escalator ride down to the shuttle buses where you can get to the Orange Bowl for only 35 cents. In the first hour, over 200 riders taking advantage of the deal. Shuttle buses standing ready to handle the steady stream of passengers, all anxious to get to the game and nobody complaining. Great. Fantastic. We should do them more often. Feel safe with it. Sure. Sure. Oh, sure. We have, we have a man, but we're not afraid anyway. This is what rail riders missed out on, the usual traffic snarls. Once inside, all that's forgotten. These are doll fans with an eye on Palo Alto and a holiday greeting for the Cowboys. It'll be in the Super Bowl. You don't have to worry about that. We're going all the way to the Super Bowl. Yeah, we'll be, yeah, we'll be in the Super Bowl. But with us Dolphin fans behind them, we're going all the way! We're gonna win because we've got someone around who promised. I know exactly what I want for Christmas. Can you guess what that is? You want a uh, Super Bowl. You got that right. Okay. And if Santa comes through, Dolphins will take us all the way on a wave of good feeling. And you know, if you were here at the game tonight or watching at home, you'll probably be getting up for work tomorrow and probably be tired. But as someone once said, a good kind of tired. Now Chuck will be back later on in the show with highlights of this game and the rest of sports coming up. And Mike. Okay, Susan, thank you very much. We'll be getting back to you later. Enjoy yourself and watch out. It seems strange out there tonight. <laughs> and? Well, tonight, lots of Dolphin diehards cheered their team on from a ringside seat, not at the Orange Bowl, but at their favorite bar. Eyewitness News Brower Bureau reporter Jerry Cohen caught up with lots of fans on the night beat in Wilton Manors. Dolphin fans watching the game at the press box lounge in Wilton Manors say it's almost as good as being there. Almost as good. I wish I was at the game, you know, but you can't have a great before. time. I'm having a good time. Just as good here? Better. We don't have to drive home in that traffic. There's a little TV here, also a big screen TV, lots of food, lots of drinks, and if you closed your eyes, you could almost imagine yourself in the Orange Bowl when you listen to the crowd. They went absolutely crazy when William Judson took that first interception. Although all the fans here were rooting for the Dolphins, they each have different reasons. Dallas takes the game. They're in the playoffs. We don't want them in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> My brother loves the Dallas, and I hate them. I love Dolphins, and I want Dolphins to win to burn them. <laughs> so I can call them up tonight when I get home and say, what happened? 
happened? Why is this game so important? Home field advantage. That home field advantage was the highlight of Shula's pep talk to the team Sunday because if they lost to Dallas, they faced the prospect of playing for the AFC Championship in Denver. Of course, it's a little too early for the Dolphins to be worrying about whether they'll be playing in the snow or the sunshine on January 6th because first they have to beat the Seahawks or the Raiders on the 29th or 30th in the Orange Bowl. That divisional playoff is expected to officially become a sellout later this week. More than enough time for the television blackout to be lifted and more than enough time for places like the press box to prepare for a packed house again. In Wilton Manor's Jerry Cohen, Channel 10 Eyewitness News on the Night Beat.